This must be the place, Professor Oubier's house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching a story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. looked like Nico's handbag, but I couldn't reach it from here. I decided to work out how to untie myself before exploring further. I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of How to Deal with Poisonous Spiders While Tied to a Chair. No such luck. But. I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. I wasn't touching that spider goo. Mighty bound, our hero was free. Now, I had to deal with that fire. The rope was shredded and no possible use to me. I had no time to sit around. The projecting bracket had served its purpose. There was nothing else I could do with it. The bookcase had fallen on its front, making it impossible to reach the books inside. Inside, I found a bottle of tequila. Normally, I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Ew, disgusting. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, I just managed to stop myself from swallowing the worm. There was something short, fleshy, and gross on the carpet. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. In the drawer was a small decorated pot.
nice couple. It was a stylish little canvas number containing a lipstick, a handwritten note, and a pair of nylon panties with a large love heart emblazoned across the front. It occurred to me that Nico's tastes must have really changed while I was away. Well, they could be useful. That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end, but this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. I'd already ransacked, and besides which, the color didn't suit me. I wasn't going to get through those sturdy bars. I wasn't going to touch the box after that spider had been inside it. I guess I had no business reading the note, but I figured it might give me a clue to what Nico was involved in. It was from Andre Lavano, the history student Nico had known at college. The letter was sentimental mush and revealed that the exotic lingerie, as he called it, was a gift from him. It gave his telephone number. Labino figured himself as a rival for Nico's affections, but I couldn't believe that that creep was in the running. The pot contained a key. It was a pair of red, lace-trimmed panties decorated with a large black satin heart. It looked like a house key. It was Nico's lipstick. It wasn't my color. And it reminded me of clowns. It was that itsy bitsy tequila one. I really must remember to take it out of my pants before I send them to the laundry. It was the poison dart which had stunned Nico. I'd never known anything keep her quiet so effectively. pressure in the siphon. I guess it was out of gas. The cabinet was locked. The key was way too large to fit into that tiny keyhole. The door blocked my only means of escape. I drunk enough of that. I wasn't going to get through those sturdy bars. As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. That 
cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my bare hands. The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap around the hot cylinder. It was a small metal cylinder with a valve at one end. The cylinder gave out a faint hiss as the valve opened. Huh? Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. With a well-aimed squirt of the soda fountain, our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red-hot doorknob, and it wasn't the time for subtlety. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded in two. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. The best place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. Much as I disliked him, Labano might be my only hope of finding Nico. Hi, Andre. Who is this? It's George Stobart, Nico's boyfriend. Don't you mean ex-boyfriend? Look, I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested in you? Listen, Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Andre? You better show, you creep. I felt an irrational urge to wipe my ear. It was locked. The door was locked. I didn't fancy my chances of kicking this door down. I unlocked the door. The house key didn't fit this lock. I wasn't looking forward to meeting Labano again, but he was my only link with Nico. There was no sign of lava when I got to the cafe. I decided to order a coffee and wait for him. He ignored me. I'm sure it was deliberate. Pardon me, but don't I know you? Huh? You were here the, the day I found the catacombs. I was? Ah, yes. I remember you. Yeah. Are you still in the police force? No, not anymore. I'm a man of leisure. 
And what brings you back to Paris? My girlfriend. What it is to be young and in love. Will you share a bottle of wine with me? Hey, listen, I'd love to, but I need to keep a clear head. So my company isn't good enough for you. Why did you leave the police? I was forced to retire. The golden handshake. Only in my case, it was more copper than gold. How come? I was made a scapegoat to cover up the department's inefficiencies. Have you ever heard of a Professor Oubier? No, monsieur. I don't recall the name. Well, apparently he's an expert on Mayan art and history. A little out of my field of experience, monsieur. If he'd been a serial killer or a sodomite, I might have been able to help. What do you make of this news cutting? Orphanage supplied fast food chain? No, it's the article above that. Oh! Total eclipse of the sun. Well, that's very dull in comparison. I don't know anything about eclipses. Tell me what you make of this note. From my years of experience, I gained a pretty good insight into handwriting. I'd say that note was written by a compulsive, obsessive type with an Oedipus complex. Hey, you got just about everything apart from the ponytail. What do you make of this dart? Oh, I remember a case where the victim was killed with just such a device. The poison acted in seconds, causing his body to swell up like an inflatable life raft. I had nothing else I wanted to ask the gendarme. I couldn't snatch the man's flask while he was looking. Hey, you. Well, I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. The man was still looking. What's that you're drinking? It's wine. Un café. Thanks. What does that guy keep pouring out of his flask? Absinthe. Absinthe? I thought that was highly dangerous and outlawed in France. It is. Don't look at me, I didn't sell it to him. Do you know a guy called Andre Lomino? Oui. I know him. What of it? Well, I'm supposed to meet him here. Did I miss him? No. I have not seen him today. Have you heard of Professor Oubier? Oui. He married that actress, the little Dachshund. They used to come here. The naughty professor and the movie star. If Oubier's wife was a movie star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her stage name was Carol Climax. She died in suspicious circumstances. Do you know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. How did Oubier's wife die? I heard he shot her. And got away with it? He had a good lawyer and they wrote a tight alibi. Why would an eminent public figure like Oubier risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? Besides, people like him always get off. Look at this. A poison dart. Ah oh, we. Oui. Sure. It's the real thing. Knock my girlfriend out cold in a matter of seconds. Romantic. Sounds like a real close relationship you have going. That's all. Thank you. This is a surprise, surely. I wouldn't normally call you. But Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? It was you that recommended Professor Oubier as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her. And he tried to kill me. 
Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her was the best thing you could do. My father was dying, damn it. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico is in danger, and we have to work together. So, well, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubier about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? So that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nicole told me to guard it with my life. Well, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh my god, you mean I could be in danger too? What do you suppose the carving on the stone means? I don't know. I haven't shown it to anyone. Why don't you just give it to me? I don't want your death on my conscience, Georges. Where did Nico get the stone? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, you should. It was something to do with... smuggling. Why didn't Nico take the stone to Ubie? I don't know. Perhaps she suspected something like this would happen. If she's been hurt, Andre, I'll break every bone in your body. No, that's typical of you. Do you think I don't care what happens to Nicole? It occurred to me that slugs don't have bones to break, but I kept that thought to myself. Tell me about your friend Ubier. He's more of a professional acquaintance than a friend. I see. So you don't really know him at all? No, I don't. Does UBA employ a guy from Central America? Maybe. I don't know. What do you think this is, Andre? I don't know. I'll give you a clue. It's got more backbone than you. You think you're amusing, don't you? What can you tell me about this pot? South or Central American, I'd say. I have a friend who'd be able to tell you more. Where can I find this guy? He owns a gallery on the left bank. The Glees Gallery. See you later. Goodbye, Georgie. I've had enough of your games, Kala. Tell me what you've done with my stone. I thought your business was simply smuggling cocaine, Karzak. Why are you so interested in that stone? Either you tell me what I want to know, or Pablo here will make you talk. Okay. Well, I figured someone at the university would be able to help. So I had a word with one of my girlfriends, and she told me her boyfriend was a lecturer. I... I sent the stone to the Department of Ethnology. You know, I figured it was South American, so... You're not buying this, are you? That's enough! I don't have time to listen to your mindless prattle. We'll leave you to think it over. Come the morning, you'll be ready to talk. You need anything else? There was nothing I wanted to say to him. Do you miss being a gendarme? <sighs> yes, of course I do. When I wore that uniform, I commanded the respect. Not anymore. I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe, a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. Excuse me. What? Ever heard of Carol Climax, the movie star? Yes, but I don't care for the kind of movie she's made. 
It's much like that which has caused the moral decline of the Western world. I'm trying to find my girlfriend. She's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah. It was our first day back together after many months. That's too bad. My god, that's depressing. Excuse me. Leave me alone. You need anything else? There was nothing I wanted. It was too hot to sit inside the cafe. I had no desire to go down into the sewers. You need anything else? There was nothing I Excuse me. What? Didn't you try to appeal against your dismissal? There was no point. It was my word against that of the Chief Inspector. And he was a close friend of the director of the museum I was supposed to be patrolling. <sighs> Excuse me. Leave me alone. Excuse me. What? Is it true that Carol Climax was murdered by her husband? First I heard of it. I thought she just retired. Which museum was it you were supposed to be patrolling? The Croon. It wasn't as if anything important was stolen. <laughs> just a rusty old tripod. The tripod had returned a few weeks later. Excuse me. Leave me alone. Excuse me. Leave me alone. Excuse me. What? I'd been looking forward to seeing my girl, but she wanted to rush off to see some professor. I see. And you think she's having an affair with this professor? Look, uh, forget it. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. What? I had nothing else I wanted to ask the gendarme. You need anything else? There was nothing I wanted to say. Excuse me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. You need anything else? The waiter wouldn't have been interested. That's all. Thank you. Excuse me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. I had no desire. He was too hot. Not such a good idea. I wasn't convinced that, that was the right thing to do. You 
anything else? The waiter wouldn't have been interested. That's all. Thank you. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Excuse me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. It was the letter to Nico from Sickening. Excuse me. But he wouldn't have wanted that. Excuse me. But he wouldn't have wanted that. He was too hot to sit. No, that's wrong. You need anything else? The waiter wouldn't have been interested. That's all. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I had nothing else I wanted to ask the gendarme. You need anything else? There was nothing I wanted to say to him. Excuse me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. 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 You need anything else? The waiter wouldn't have been interested. That's all. Thank you. Now I had another lead. I could either go back to Ubier's house or visit the Glees Gallery. I could either go back to Ubier's house or visit the Glees Gallery. The Glees Gallery had style and class, but very few customers. The pots were protected by a glass case. Hi, girls. What's the joke? Anata wa kirete desu ne? Okay, fine. The way that guy was gripping the glass, I'd need a wrench to get away from him. Are you Mr. Glees, the owner? Yes, sir. May I help you? You're English? These days, one prefers to think of oneself as European. Uh, sure. 
Whatever you say. And how precisely may one assist you, sir? What I really wanted to ask you about was a black stone. A black stone? Yeah, it's a Mayan artifact, about as big as my hand. No, sir, one doesn't get much call for black stones. If it's Mayan artifacts you're interested in, I have some rather exquisite pots. Yeah, I noticed. I've already got one of those. Who's that guy over there? That's Mr. Lane, sir, the critic. I'm hoping he'll give the gallery a favorable write-up. One has to be so patient with these critics. Lure them in with the correct bait, watch for a bite, and play them like a fish. Well, he's certainly drinking like one. Have you heard of Professor Ubier? Of course. His name is synonymous with Mayan art. A number of these artifacts were supplied by Ubier himself. Do you get many Central American Indians in here? Uh, no, sir. This is Paris. Central America is several thousand kilometers southwest of here, straight across the Atlantic Ocean and turn left. You can't miss it. Well, as it happens, I saw some Central American Indians this very morning. Tourists, sir. Paris is full of them at this time of year. I suppose you have an import license for these relics? Of course. But that's not my problem, sir. The professor arranges all the shipping. We simply collect the items from the docks. Could you tell me which docks Professor Ubier uses to import the artifacts? Good God, no. I can't possibly reveal my commercial secrets. I found this news story referring to a total eclipse of the sun. Really, sir? Oh, well, fascinating. Do you believe the story that Ubier murdered his wife? If it was true, who can blame him? She was an opportunist tramp. Well, that's what I heard. Have you seen any of Ubier's wife's films? Only one. Believe me, I was appalled, shocked, disgusted, and repulsed. Well, you sure got your money's worth. Last time I went to the movies, I wasn't even titillated. I'd like your opinion on this pot. Interesting. Would sir be interested in selling the article? That depends. How much would you give me for it? 300? Possible 325. I'll think about it. You're Lane, the critic, aren't you? Correct. Can't you see I'm busy? Busy? Doing what? Appreciating the art, or depreciating it. I have a reputation to uphold. I could tell this guy was going to be hard work. Have you heard of Professor Ubier? Yes, of course. I was at his house earlier. If you're going to drop names, you could at least name one worth dropping. I thought Ubier was a well-respected man. Why, his last book was nothing but pseudo-intellectual claptrap. The demented ramblings of a drug-dependent has-been. What's that you're drinking? I'm not sure, but I have a suspicion it might be urine. Please can't expect a favorable criticism of his gallery when he serves this muck. Would you give me your opinion on this pot, sir? Hmm, yes. Very rapouche. Rapouche? Hideous. What the hell do you think you're doing? You smashed my pot! Certainly, it was not only worthless, it was ugly and offensive. To you, maybe. Believe me, I was doing you a favor. I wasn't going to waste any more breath talking to that pompous blimp. Maybe I could turn the situation to my advantage, and at the same time, get my revenge. The pot had smashed into too many pieces to retrieve. Lane doesn't think much of your choice of wine. Blasted nerve. The priest who sold it to me said it was a good year. That slob Lane just smashed my Mayan pot. Uh, yes, he can be rather impulsive. Impulsive? The man's a hooligan. I bet if it was one of yours, you'd be more concerned. I had no possible use for a credit card reader. I splash.
splashed a little absinthe into the glass and hoped he wouldn't notice the change of color. Did you put something in my drink? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, what do you think? Well, it's certainly an improvement over Lisa's wine. In fact, I could grow to like it. The way that guy was gripping the... Allow me. Were those parts very valuable? The pots are insured, but not the shelving. You've no idea how much that cost me. Spheres in a barren waste. Oh, very profound. Rectangles in a desolate landscape. Highly cubist. I could see a pattern emerging in this artist's work. The Wasteland. Too minimalistic for too much money. I wasn't going to waste my breath on that drunkard. Go away. I had no poss... There was nothing in the case but styrofoam packing, but pasted on the side was the remains of a label. Underneath the logo of a flying bird were the words Condor Transglobal Mars. The rest of the label was missing. The pot had smashed into too many pieces. Go away. If I wanted to be laughed at, there was always Nico. The pots were protected by a glass case. 